everyone. So today I want to talk about more about power tower paradox. So I already have uh, at least one video on power tower paradox. I think it's a pretty interesting topic about big numbers. Uh, one of my favorite topic and uh, make sure you check that out. And today I want to talk about more because of uh, some recent polls that I have created about uh, power towers. So first of all, um, of course, some people ask me, you know, what's the answer? What's the actual answer? Um, so I've decided to make a video. So first of all, um, the reason that we call this a paradox because of something that is called a rounding error so it's actually not a paradox itself of course make sure you can check my uh, previous video about that um, it's just basically related to rounding error that's why it looks like a paradox so for example i think i bring i brought that up already in my previous video so basically something like this is equal to this so 2 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100 is basically the same as 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 100 why because of rounding error um, because in order for you if you want to convert this into base 10 it will <laughs> become it will be equal to something like this so it will be equal to 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 99.99999 with probably around a google digits in order to show the actual value so therefore i mean i think probably most of the modern computers doesn't have this amount of accuracy no basically almost no modern computer or calculator has the accuracy of up to Google digits doesn't I'm not sure maybe maybe a few hundred digits I forget but uh, again if the taller your tower the more digits you need to represent this accurately in base 10 so that is why if you type this in a calculator actually this is one of the calculator I use hypercal is a online calculator that uh, lets you do some simple calculation on power towers but anyway if you type this in a calculator it will show basically this it's because not the calculator is wrong it's just because of rounding error you will need hundreds or more digits just to show this accurately again if i add a few more level you probably googles and googles of digits and obviously no computer can ever do that um, so of course the base number here if you change the base it doesn't matter much even if this is 1.1 or the number here is Google it's still basically the same number especially if the tower is taller it will be even more um, if it will be even more so that way so first of all I want to talk about the answer for the questions based on this fact over here um, again here if you change the top number it will greatly change the size of the number compared to the base so the base is the least important uh, the top one is the most important if you want to change the size because the reason behind that is because you for a power tower you have to start from the top first you have to calculate the top all the way to the bottom that is why the top is way more influential than the base so the first one i asked is you know 1.1 to the 1.1 to the 1.1 to the 1000 versus 1000 to the 1000 to the 1000 which one is bigger and i think most of you are correct but you know i just i, I don't think everyone just know the reason why they just guess and they just guess whatever has the taller tower so that's why they picked this one i believe so even though these three uh numbers looks like way bigger than 1.1 the only difference is that this is this has four level this has three level and if you do the calculation actually i think this is possible you can probably do this in some computer of course i use half account so this one is equal to 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 40 and this one is equal to 10 to the 10 to the 3000 obviously you can see which one is bigger this one is bigger 
and the next one is I think I asked 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to 1.001 versus 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 1.002 I think I use this many lines versus this many ends but I, I don't remember anyway um, of course this one kind of looks slightly bigger than it is but actually is way 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 bigger than that even though the top number I mean, 1.002 is only very, very little bit bigger than this one if it by itself, right? But if you add a bunch of <laughs> tens at the bottom, then it suddenly becomes this one. It's way bigger than this one, especially if your tower is very, very tall. The taller, the even the more crazy. So this one is equal to 10 to the 10 to the, I believe, 10 billion something. And this one is equal to 10 to the 10 to the 11 billion something. At first you thought, you know, they look, you know, pretty much not a big difference. But in fact, as you know, some of the weird properties of big numbers or power tower is that a bigger number divided by a smaller number will always equal to the bigger number. I believe you know that already. For example, grams number divided by G63 is still grams number. So basically this number divided by this number is basically equal to this one. So therefore, um, it's basically one lion versus this many n. So obviously you know which one would win. The reason, I'm not sure if you know that already. I think it's pretty straightforward. This number divided by this number is basically uh, equal to base 10. You just minus this top over here so 10 to the 11 billion minus 10 to the power of 10 billion um that would give you the result so basically 10 to the power of 11 billion minus 10 to the power of 10 billion is basically equal to 10 to the power of 11 billion because this number i mean you're not counting the base you're just counting the top two level here so this number has 11 billion digits and this number has 10 billion digits so it's a number with 11 billion digits minus a number with 10 billion digits is basically equal to the original number that's how it works so that's why this one divided by this one is 10 to the power of that so it's basically the same number and then the uh, next one I believe is I asked which one is smaller, 10 double arrow 3 3 versus 3 double arrow 3 3 plus 1. So basically this is equal to a power tower of 10 with 3 3 levels high. And this one of course is a number tower of 3 which is 3 3 plus 1 high. So this one is one level taller than this. But of course you know 3 3 is a very big number so at first you may seem these two towers basically the same height, right? Because I just said the same thing. I said, you know, uh, when you get the number so high, basically, bigger number divided by small number is equal to the bigger number. But this is not the case. Um, so this tower has one more level than this one, right? Because this is 3, 3 plus 1. This is 3, 3. So which one is bigger? So actually, this is not too difficult if you look at the following. So the first thing you see here, 10 is obviously smaller than 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. Next, 10 to the 10 is smaller than 3 to the 3 to the 3. So 3 to the 3 to the 3 is 7.6 trillion something. And this one is only 10 billion. So obviously this one is bigger than this one. And if you continue this pattern, 10 to the 10 to the 10 is smaller than 4 threes. And 4 10 is smaller than 5 threes. And so on. And basically, if you can see this, actually you can see the rule from this one. So basically, you're seeing here, I'm just changing the base number because you know the top the top tower, if they are the same, then um, basically changing the base doesn't affect that much. So as you can see here, since the tower 3 to the 3 is bigger than 10, right? So the base number, it doesn't change, it doesn't affect that much. So clearly, you, you don't even have to calculate. You can just apply this rule over here. Then you can already know that this one is bigger than this one because 3, 3, 3 is bigger than 10, 10 so the base itself doesn't affect that much so the pattern goes on forever basically so what does that mean? here you can clearly see six. I mean 5, 3 is bigger than 4, 10 and the next one, same thing 6, 3 is bigger than 5, 10 
So therefore, you can conclude that this one is bigger than this one. So this one is smaller. Uh, it's not that difficult. And then the last one, I believe, is Google Plex double arrow 9,996 versus 3 double arrow 9,999. So basically, same idea as uh, this one over here. As to, you can see, Google Plex is smaller than 5 threes. So next, Google Plex to Google Plex will be smaller than 6 threes. And then Google Plex to the Google Plex to the Google Plex is smaller than 7 threes. So you can see the pattern over here. Because since you know this, 5 3 is bigger than this one, so you're just adding one more uh, here. So again, we know 5 3 is bigger than 1 Googleplex, and you're adding one at the base, and you, we all know that adding a number at the base doesn't change, or that doesn't affect the number that much. So therefore, you can conclude that this one is bigger than this one. And since we know that 6 3 is bigger than 2 Googleplex, so in we if you add one more at the bottom, it doesn't change uh, the math. So this one is bigger than this one, and so on and so forth. So therefore, um, all you can see is uh, three versus three Googleplex versus seven three. So there's four. All you need is four extra threes to beat the Googleplex. So therefore, this is smaller and this is bigger because there's. Um, Let's see, you know, this is bigger and this is smaller because this is only three less Googleplex than this one. And you can see you need four more threes to beat uh, a Googleplex. So five here and one over here. But this one minus this one is only three. So therefore, this is bigger than this one. And this is, I believe, most people get it wrong because I trick you. <laughs> you guys, that's why I, I said, you know, you guys just pick whatever is taller. But actually not in every single case, but still it's a, a, a bit surprising to see, you know, all you need is only four more threes than this one. So if this is 10,000, this would become bigger. You only need four more threes to beat a tower, power tower of Googleplex. Because in my previous video, I told you, you know, you need five times the amount of threes, but actually it turns out you, you need ways less or way fewer threes than that you only need four more not five times you know um because uh the way you calculate power towers from top to bottom um instead of you know doing this and then doing this and then doing like three to the three and then three to the three you know in that video i was saying you know googleplex to googleplex um so you, you're not doing from the top to the bottom if you do from top to bottom, you, you, you get a much bigger number. But anyway, you get the idea. So this is, I found, you know, the power tower. It's a very interesting topic. Um, and it's, again, it's, at least it's easy to uh, explain compared to like tree three. Those are not easy to, uh, to explain or understand. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.